In this tutorial, we will look at insert. And the first thing in insert that we will look at is break. Once you click on break, you can see this dialog box that appears. And in this break, it gives you insert break. The insert breaks functionality is for you to choose what kind of breaks that you want to put for your documentation in between the first page, second page, third page, and fourth page. The types of break that is given to you through insert is either line break, column break, or page break. You can choose either one of it. And if you choose page break, you can choose the style of page break that you want, either default, envelope, first page, index, left page, or right page. Or you can choose not to choose any of it. Once you've clicked on that, so once you've chosen on the type of uh, break that you want to put for your documentation, click OK. And you can see that in here, this is what actually a page break is. The difference between the first page and the second page is through this gap here. That is the functionality of a page break. The next thing that we will look at is page number. All you have to do is choose the place in which you want to put the page number. Let's see. Just say I want to put the page number here. Choose where I want to put it in the center. You can see. You just have to go to insert, click on page number, and the page number will immediately appear where I want the page number to be. The next thing we will look at is date. Same thing as page number, all you have to do is choose the place in which you want to put the date and then cl click on insert and click on date and you can see that the format of the date appears in your documentation. After date, we will now look at auto text. When you click on auto text, you will receive an auto text dialog box. And in this auto text dialog box, there's a few things that you can choose from. You can click on this box to display remainder of name as suggestion while typing. You can give a name for this for the auto text and the shortcut that you would like to use for this name. And then if you're in, if you want to put uh, your business card into this documentation and then type your documentation, you can choose from the various different kinds of business cards format that you can choose from either elegant with only company name, elegant with name, modern. You can choose only for templates by clicking on this plus button. You can see the different types of templates that you'll get from brochure to newsletter to outcome. Then if you don't want, you can close this and then you can choose standard. When you click on standard, you can put first reminder, second reminder, acknowledgement or receipt, best wishes, all these kinds of job application, rejection, cover letter, confirmation and receipt, invitation to interview. There's so many different options I can choose from. And just say I choose a business card and I would like to put the company name. I can choose between elegant and modern. For example, I choose modern and only company name. As you can see, the name will appear in the shortcut. I can choose whether I want to save it to the file system or the internet or show preview. And once I've chosen, I just have to click on auto text to copy or rename, delete, edit or macro if I want to do any of those. You can choose categories. Once you click on categories, you can see the edit categories in which I can choose the category and the path. Then I can have a selection list in which I can choose the, the business card or the auto text or for templates or for standard. So once I've done with it, can either click OK or I can create a new one or delete the old one or rename them. So just click OK. You can even choose the path. All I have to do is click on this path. And in the part, I can select the parts that's available. So if I've uh, chosen, just say this or this, or I can even add or delete this part. And if I'm done with it, I just have to click on OK. So once I've done with all the selection of the order text, categories, parts, I can insert them into my documentation. And if I don't wish to use any of this order text that I've done, I just have to click on close. So if I insert it into my documentation, 
this is how it will look like. It will have the company name, the address, and then the telephone number, the fax number, and the email. In instant, we also have something called fields, and the fields contains the same thing as what we have seen earlier, where you can insert the date, the time, the page number, the page count, the subject, the title of a page, the author of the page, and there are other options that you can choose from. The next thing is you can add symbols to your documentation. All you have to do is click on symbols and you can see that a, spe a special corrected dialog box appears in which you can choose the font of which type of characters you want to add in. So if you choose one of it, you can see that it's different the characters and you can choose the subset whether you want basic Latin or basic Greek. Let's just say if you choose basic Greek, this is how it looks like. You can choose any of these characters to be added into your documentation. There's so many different options. So once you choose the font and the subset and you have chosen, for example, I choose a symbol. Choose, once I've chosen it, I click on OK. As you can see, it appears in the place where I have put my cursor last or where I want this symbol to be in. The next thing we insert will be command. You can post comments to your documentation now with self from right. All you have to do is choose the place you want to put the command. Put the text from for example put a you can put a reminder or a text in explaining what the particular sentence is about. Or so all I have to do is put maybe put a reminder. So I can Choose whether I want to insert the author. If I want to insert the author, just click on author and you can see the author and the date and the time. All I have to do is click on OK. And you can see that this yellow box appears. This yellow box is a is an indication that there's a command posted in your documentation. So if you want to view this command, all you have to do is double click on the yellow and you can see to check what is the training. It, it shows you the command that was made by either you or another person for this documentation, you can read what they have said and act accordingly. Basically, in this training, you learn how to put a page break. If you have more than two pages, you learn how to put page number for your pages, a date, auto tags, fields in which you can choose the existing fields to insert into your documentation, how to insert a symbol for your documentation, and how to put a comment in your documentation.